Local government minister Desmond McKenzie is again raising alarm about the number of prank calls to the Jamaica Fire Brigade. Mr. McKenzie was making his contribution to the sectoral debate in Gordon House this afternoon, where he, is all, where he also announced a new government program. Vashon Brown reports. The local government minister says the Jamaica Fire Brigade continues to receive malicious calls from members of the public. In 2016, the Jamaica Fire Brigade received 1,077 prank calls. In 2017, 1,071. In 2018, 1,300. In 2019, 1,204. In 2020, 1,119. And overall, call, prank calls calls of 5,774 wasting precious time, wasting gasoline. I am urging the Jamaican people, let us become more responsible because any false call can result in some serious implications for the brigade. Mr. McKenzie said last year the Jamaica Fire Brigade responded to over 13,000 fire calls across the island. As a result, 31 persons lost their lives. 89 were injured, Madam Speaker. The loss in terms of the overall effects, 1,776 Persons lost their homes or otherwise were displaced. Turning to the issue of roads, the local government minister says a $650 million rural development program will be rolled out to develop communities in various parts of the island. The program will be piloted in Chambers Pen in Western and over, Madam Speaker. And will cover Cheese Field in St. Catherine, yeah. Yeah. Cheswick in Western St. Thomas, Lawrence Tavern in West Rural St. Andrew, yeah. Yeah. and also in Southwest Clarendon. The minister says the program will provide employment. He says it will also include the installation of water, electricity, roads, sidewalks, internet access, among other things. Vashon Brown, TVJ News.